The acclaimed novel Sweetland is getting the big screen treatment in a film that'll practically have you tasting the salt spray of the ocean and soaking up the raw beauty of the rock. The government is offering a package to the residents of Sweetland to move anywhere in the province. But we will not move a soul out of here unless we have a commitment from everyone. I'll have to take a rain check. It's a fictional story, but based on the very real resettlement that many residents of Newfoundland and Labrador faced when the provincial government there paid to have them leave their isolated communities. In the book and the movie, the same is true, except there is one character who holds out and refuses to go. Really honored to be joined by Michael Crummy. He's the man behind the novel, and Christian Sparks, the director of the film, and both are from Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks Great to be here. Us. Thanks. Full disclosure, I, I told you this right before we started shooting. I am a big film nerd, and I absolutely loved this story. It blew me away. I feel like I could interview you for an hour. <laughs> but I want to get right into the plot, because unfortunately, we don't have an hour. But uh, Michael, I'll start with you. I mentioned a, a bit of the story off the top. But can you tell us a little more about it and about Moses, this main character who doesn't want to go? Yeah, well, the resettlement story, I mean, it, it started in the 50s and 60s, but it's still happening today, right? Um, the most isolated communities in Newfoundland have, once the cod fishery was closed down in 92, all the young people started leaving. So the, the population skewed older and older. Mm -hmm. And people started thinking, we need to be somewhere more central, closer to healthcare and that sort of thing. So communities are now going to the government and saying, would you offer us a package to move? So we're losing a lot of these communities. But I, I do remember hearing a lot of stories about communities where everybody was ready to go. Right. Everybody was ready to take the package, but there was one guy right. who refused to take it and was holding up everybody else. And that was a condition, right? It had to be unanimous, basically? Uh, at, at one time, yes. Yeah. Now, that has changed because it's, as the movie shows, almost impossible sure. to get that unanimity. But I was really interested in <clears throat> what kind of a person would be the person to say to everybody he's ever known and loved, I'm not going, yep. and I'm willing to stand up to all of you to stay. It's just an incredible narrative, a really amazing uh, story. And, you know, Christian, for you, I, as I said, you're both, you're both from Newfoundland and Labrador. And one of the amazing parts of the film is, is how it looks. I mean, mm -hmm. it really takes you there. Um, tell me a little bit about scouting for locations and where you actually shot this. Yeah, well, I've done a lot of work over the years for Newfoundland tourism, so I've been up and down the island 10 times over. And now all the right. little nooks and crannies, it's a great kind of joy of, of that job. Um, but this is an independent film, so we needed mm -hmm. to shoot within an hour of the downtown St. John, just for budgetary reasons, because you're bringing cast and crew all this distance. So we landed on a small town called Brigus South. It's up the Southern Shore Highway, for anyone who knows our Newfoundland geography. And it's a perfect little bowl of a town. Uh, you can stand on a cliff and overlook 270 degrees, and it still has the old wooden fishing stages, the old chip kind of clapboard, has all the texture that you want for a story kind of as rich as, and interesting as the one Michael has written. Yeah, it's amazing. And I, by the way, I just saw your uh, last film, The King Tide, in theaters two weeks ago. Also absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, Michael, what's it like for you? As I said off the top, this is an acclaimed and beloved novel. What's it like for you as the author to see it on the big screen and see these characters come to life in visual form? Yeah, it's it's a little bit surreal. Yeah. And you never know what what's going to happen when that, when that transition is made, you know. But I sure. really uh, trusted Christian, and I, I really uh, felt like he had latched onto the heart of the book. Mm -hmm. And in that, in that move to film, he was going to take the heart with him. It was going to be a different creature, obviously. Right. But I do remember Mark Lewis Jones, who plays Sweetland, oh, um, yeah. just a fantastic actor. And I remember Christian sending me pictures when Mark first landed and they were suiting him up yeah. <laughs> as Moses. And I thought, that's him. Wow, that's, that's perfect. That's the guy. Yeah. Mm. So it, it has been a real joy to see, to see this on the screen and yeah. to see those characters like actually moving around yeah. in three-dimensional space. He, he's amazing, and it also Sarah Canning, Mary Walsh, a great cast. It's a really, really special movie. Thank mm -hmm. you so much to both of you for being here yeah, and thanks. chatting. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. Okay, after the break. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.